Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy here with the Game Vault. Hey! If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. And if you like this video, leave a like on it down below. You can't tell you how much that helps me out. And a comment. Let me know what you think of it. And share us on social media. It's always appreciated. I know I'm asking a lot of you guys, but... You know, this uh, little bit of support goes a long way... Uh, for my morale and producing these videos daily and providing content for you and today what we're going to do is show you the location of a really cool exotic ship and it looks kind of like my yellow one down there it's a very similar design to that but it looks like it's either a light gray or a white maybe a pale 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 blue hard to tell sometimes on the surface of a planet because the coloration of the sky and all that has an impact on it for sure but I'll show you the address and all that later on and um, at the end of the video we'll have a you know put it up on screen for you a little bit and blow it up so you can see it this is a Corvex system and as you can see it is a wealthy system a three-star one-star conflict level so very peaceful quite a few planets here it's on the sub-zero planet S event 7 and all I did was I uh, flew here, I went to their space station, watched uh, some guys land for a minute, and there's nothing special there. So I said, all right, I'll go look for a uh, trade depot. And I found this trade depot, I landed, and sure enough, this cool exotic ship landed. So. I didn't buy it or anything. I'm not sure. It looks so much like this one. I might add it to my squadron. I believe I'm still a couple ships short on my squadron here. If not, then I'll end up buying it and just do my uh, little trade out like I've done before uh, to put it in my squadron if I've got other ships in there. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've really looked at that squadron. So this is an icy planet, so make sure you dress warmly. Have a little dioxide on you if you've got the uh, thermal protection from the cold. I imagine we'll have a nasty storm showing up soon because that's just the way it goes. The weather always seems to turn to crap when I'm doing a video and especially when I'm hunting ships even if I'm not on video because that just makes it more miserable um, yeah, to do. So we can look up in the sky and see if it's flying around up there. I don't see it yet. It was not a first round uh, spawn so it did take a little while to get here, but it only took about two or three rounds before I saw it, so we'll wait a little bit like this, and then um, if it doesn't show up like in the next little batch, oh, I think that's it, yeah, there it is, right up there, see it? Hey, buddy, come on down, okay, where you, no, just like that. Just like that, that ship went far, far away, and I never saw Jedi again. What's going on? Looks like we're being scanned by something, doesn't it? All right. So if you don't find it in the first couple rounds of landings, you can always go back to your ship and reload, which is probably what I'm going to do here shortly. Now that we've got this next round landing, and that's not a bad looking explorer. Nice and fat and chunky and beefy. Look at that. A B, a B, and a C. Yeah, nothing special there. All right, well, let's get. We got one more ship to land. Is it flying around anymore? That's not it. That guy's gonna land. And it's not up there either. And it's not over there. Okay. Yeah. Lots of explorers, but this is a Corvex system, so that's what causes all of that. All right. Well, let's go down and hop out. And do a quick reload of the autosave. 
hopefully we have a little bit better luck this time. I wasn't there long uh, the first time when I found it, so I don't expect to be here very, very long this time. But, you know, you never know. We'll have to see. Did it do? So, yeah. Yeah, ship hunting is a lot of fun. Sometimes I get bored or yeah, I don't feel like base building or anything like that. So I'll just go out and start exploring systems. I focus on three-star systems with one star in conflict. That's the main goal of those and pirate systems. They seem to have the best shot of uh, getting a nice exotic ship in them. Here we go. We'll get back to our vantage point. And nothing on this first round. Haulers and shuttles and explorers. Oh my. Yeah, nothing special there. All right. Well, this could take some time. And I actually am going to start a little stopwatch up and continue this hunt for a while. And once it lands, I'll cut back and let you all know how it took, all right? Or how long it took. So I'll see you shortly. Well, here it is. It took about... 45 minutes, way longer than I anticipated, to be honest with you. Um, but the ship showed up finally, and this is what it looks like. Kind of uh, white and blue-ish, you know? I guess that's white or light, light gray. I like the silver along the uh, tail on the back. Very, very sharp looking ship. And, wow, quite the steal at 7.3 million dollars. We're not going to exchange, that's for sure. We'll just buy it outright. And, uh, yeah, it's a really nice looking ship. I am completely digging it. Is that silver or blue? It's hard to tell. Like I said, the uh, atmosphere of a planet definitely has an impact on the look of a ship. Um... But as you can see, it's a very, very similar design. Oops. Way to go. We just crashed it. Oh, jeez. Never going to get insurance. Um, it's very much like our little yellow ship there. Can we, can we do it? Can we do it? Uh, yes, we can. Oh, no, we missed. Oh, we'll bring the other one down. But definitely cool. And what I did while I was here is I just built a little uh, basic base. Um, you know, it's cold here, so if you, you know, when I put up the coordinates, if you want to come here and try to get this ship yourself, you can just hang out and. Oh my God! There's another one. Look at that. This one's going into my uh, <laughs> my fighter collection. There's absolutely no doubt of that. That's cool. I can't believe it. We got two in a row now. Hey, buddy. He's only a sea pilot. But we can update him later and make him better. So not only do we get the ship, but we got a second one for our crew, for our uh, squadron. That's pretty badass. <laughs> Did not expect that. Really? I'm having such a hard time right now. There we go. So yeah, this will get us a decent little side-by-side -side of these two ships. And then we'll take that other one off planet and onto uh, my freighter so we can get a better look at it, color wise at least. It's kind of a blue and a gray, I guess. 
a very Civil War era. All right, and of course right now it sucks because it doesn't have any upgrades on it other than whatever it came with. Which are very, very, you know, always the basics there. No modules or anything like that. But if you watch yesterday's show... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's been a day. Been a day. All right, let's get our butts in here. We'll take a look at it inside of here. Yeah, so there it is. I guess it's white, maybe a very, very light gray or an off-color, off-white color. But super cool looking. And the funny thing is, here's another ship. Here's a fighter ship that shows up a lot in this system. And it's actually not a bad looking ship itself. I kind of like these rounded uh, wings on the side and all that. I just don't like that front end very much. It's a very basic front end. If it had that really pointy one, I'd be more inclined to maybe pick that one up. But, as you can see, we've got our other ships here, so that's three, four, five, six, seven. I think we got room for two more ships in our um, collection. I don't think we have any extras laying around other than these. Not 100% sure, but that's that. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thanks for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. Uh, if you found this video helpful at all, please leave a like on it down below and uh, comment on it. Let me know what you think of the ship and have you found anything like this and do you like these kind of videos finding these ships and stuff like that because we could do um, multi-tool searches, all kinds of uh, uh, where to find videos and maybe I'll do a compilation where I just show a couple different ships and their locations to for later on down the road when we get new viewers and whatnot. Just give them one easy quick place to find them. So. Anyway, don't forget to share us on social media. I'll see you next time, but stick around. I'm going to post the coordinates to this right now. <laughs> right now.